Hello everybody, my name is Adrian Sidlo from Sidlo Law Firm in Luxembourg and we just wanted to make a short clip on some great news uh, for the Luxembourg Financial Center. Uh, our securitization law of 2004, which already had a great success, will be amended on certain points and which will render it even more flexible and more attractive than it was until now. So that's great news for us and we just wanted to go through the main points uh, in this respect. So the first change uh, relates to the way a securitization vehicle uh, may be financed. So until now, uh, this is only possible uh, through the issuance of transferable uh, securities, uh, which would typically be bonds or notes uh, issued by the vehicle. Uh, this has been broadened now and uh, securitization vehicles may issue financial instruments uh, in the sense of the financial collateral law of 2005 in Luxembourg, which is much broader uh, in scope than the definition uh, of transferable securities. And even better, uh, you can have the financing through loans, uh, which will be, in my view, a game changer here. The second change relates uh, to the fact that new forms of companies um, uh, have been added as possible securitization undertakings. So now you can also have Société par action simplifiée, which are very much used by French uh, clients. You can have an ordinary limited partnership, which is very much used by German clients and you can have a special limited partnership uh, that could act as a securitization vehicle. And this vehicle uh, is very often used by our UK clients. So uh, this uh, broadening uh, of uh, uh, the, the type of vehicles that uh, may be used as a securitization vehicle is very attractive uh, for the financial markets. So the third change uh, relates to the fact that in case you have several compartments uh, under a securitization vehicle, for each compartment you can have a separate accounting with separate accounts and you're not impacted by any issue that could arise under another compartment. So that's a very good thing. The fourth point which has been clarified by the draft bill uh, is about the possibility uh, to do active management uh, of underlying assets of a securitization vehicle, either by the securitization vehicle itself or by a third party. So now uh, the draft bill clearly states that active management uh, is only possible if two conditions uh, are fulfilled. The first condition being that the underlying assets of such vehicle must be debt instruments or receivables. And the second condition is that uh, the instruments which are issued uh, by uh, the vehicle to the investors uh, must not be offered to the public. Which brings us to our fifth point, uh, which is about the definition of an offer uh, to the public in the draft uh, bill. The fifth point relates to uh, some clarification uh, which uh, is given by the draft bill in respect of license requirements uh, applicable to the securitization vehicle. So a securitization vehicle must apply for a license if it issues uh, its instruments uh, more than three times per year and if it issues such instruments to the public. And here the government has fixed some clear rules on it. So a financial instrument will not be viewed as being issued to the public if it's issued only to professional investors, for instance, or uh, if it has a minimum denomination uh, of 100,000, which means that uh, the draft bill is lowering uh, the threshold from 125,000 as it is now 
uh, to 100,000 and if it's offered uh, on a private placement uh, basis. So this is a very useful uh, clarification. The last point that I would like to talk about here uh, is the huge flexibility uh, which has been provided for in the draft bill as regards subordination clauses. So in the draft bill, as a matter of principle, uh, it is stated that equity securities rank junior uh, towards debt securities. But then uh, the draft bill states that contractually uh, you can provide uh, in substance for any subordination that you would like to, which would mean in practice that you could even contractually provide uh, for equity securities ranking senior uh, to debt securities if you so wish. So this is hugely uh, flexible uh, and will be a great, great asset uh, for, for Luxembourg uh, securitization vehicles and for arrangers choosing uh, this type of vehicle. So that was it for this draft bill uh, amending the securitization law in Luxembourg. I hope it was useful to you. So if you have any questions or uh, queries, so don't hesitate to contact us uh, by using the contact details that will appear. Uh, after this video clip. So thank you very much. Bye.